Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Shabbat service for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center USA. We pray that this is a blessing to everyone who is here with us today. And for those who listen much later on in the archives, and this will be uploaded to YouTube. It will also be posted on four social media platforms, um, uh, MeWe, USA.life, Gab, and Facebook. So um, you can find us in all four social media platforms. And, and like I said, the, the uploaded video will be on YouTube as well. So this is Saturday, September 11th, 2021 on the Gregorian calendar. And on the Hebrew calendar, it is the 5th of Tishri um, in the year 5782. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. So we're heading into... Um, we're actually at the end of uh, the first full week of September. Um, and this upcoming week, we are going to be um, beginning. And well, we're actually going to do, not just begin. We're going to begin and complete the book of 2 Corinthians chapters 1 through 13. Um, and that is our reading from the Messianic Jewish Family Bible, the TLV, the Tree of Life version. And also, um, this week we have Yom Kippur. So um, these have been two back-to-back -back weeks. And, and then next week and the last week in um, September, uh, we will be in the Feast of Tabernacles, or what is known as Sukkot. So as I had mentioned before, September is a very jam-packed month. Um, because all, all three um, fall feasts um, fall this year in the month of September. So, and of course, you know, we had um, the new, the new month of Tishri uh, we, we brought in. So, um, so yes, we have a very jam-packed September. The other thing I want to mention, um, and I think I kind of really glossed over that, or I just kind of caught it at the very end last week. And I usually, I usually mention it um, actually every week. Um, we do still meet every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on our freeconferencecall.com channel. And we have a dedicated channel for our ministry. And this is live and in real time, and everyone is is more than welcome to come join us. We, um, we'd love to have you. So you can join by phone or by website or by Wi-Fi data. And if you're having any problems joining, uh, what, I, what I do is I post that um, announcement on all four social media platforms and you can click onto the links um, and you can see there's a drop down menu with the phone numbers. Um, and they are not toll calls. This is the free list that they gave us. So, and by entering the access code, you're, it creates the, it, it, it actually makes the call free. So, um, then there is also by the website, it is safe to download the app or download the, the web. Um, I have actually uh, used free conference call for college classes uh, for numerous years, and it is a very safe. It is very safe to use. So, so come join us. Uh, we'd love to have you. And that's about all that I'm going to say about that. And we're going to begin Shabbat service. And I'm going to begin with our opening prayer. And we're going to invite the Holy Spirit in to lead us in today's Shabbat service. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for the ability to come together. We thank you just for today to be able to be with you. And we're, we're, we're so blessed to be in your presence, Father God. And we ask the Holy Spirit to come and guide us, direct us, 
lead us through this entire Shabbat service. Open the eyes of our heart and the ears of our heart. Be in tune to what it is that you want us to know and what you want us to grasp and take from this Shabbat service and incorporate into our lives and our walk with you. God, God, we love you. We worship you. We adore you. And we honor Shabbat. You you told us to keep it holy. You sanctified it and made it holy and for us to keep it. And this is the seventh day. This is the Sabbath. This is the day that you have sanctified. And we're here with you. We love you, Father God, and we're here to honor you. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus, amen and amen. In Exodus chapter 20, in verse 8, it says, Remember Yom Shabbat to keep it holy. You are to work six days and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Shabbat to Adonai your God. In it you shall not do any work, not you, nor your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, your cattle, nor the outsider that is within your gates. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Thus Adonai blessed Yom Shabbat, and made it holy. And this is verses 8 through 11. Say with me now the Lord's greatest commandment. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kevod, Nahuto, Leonam, Bayad. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God. Adonai is one. This is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, beginning with verse 4. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These words, which I am commanding you today, are to be on your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children and speak to them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up, find them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlets between your eyes and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And the second greatest commandment, Yeshua said, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The entire Torah and prophets hang on these two commandments. The Amidah standing before God, we're going to say three of the blessings. The first blessing is the patriarchs. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, and God of our fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great, mighty, and awesome God, God most high, who bestows loving kindness and creates all who remembers the kindnesses of the fathers and brings a redeemer to their descendants for the sake of his name and love King helper, savior, and shield. Blessed are you, Adonai, shield of Abraham. And the second blessing is God's might. You are mighty forever, Lord, giving life to the dead. Great is your saving power. He sustains the living with steadfast love and with great compassion gives life to the dead. He upholds the fallen, heals the sick, sets the captives free, and keeps faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, master of might? And who can compare with you, O king, who brings death, restores life, and causes salvation to flourish? You are faithful to revive the dead. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to the dead. And the third, ble the third blessing is holiness. And the Hebrew word for that is kedusha. You are holy, and your name is holy. And holy ones praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Ma tavu, how lovely. How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, and your dwellings, O Israel. Because of your great love and kindness, I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Adonai, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. As for me, 
I will bow in worship. I will kneel before Adonai, my maker. As for me, my prayer to you, Adonai, is a time of favor, O God, in your great love. Answer me with the truth of your salvation. And as Kaim, the tree of life declaration, we say this of the Torah. It is a tree of life to those who grasp it, and happy are those who cling to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are shalom. Bring us back to you, Adonai, and we will return. Renew our days as of old. By Yom Havu in that day. And it is said, Adonai will then be king over all the earth. In that day, Adonai will be a Kad, and his name a Kad. May God's great name be magnified and sanctified in the world that he created by his will. And may he establish his kingdom, cause salvation to sprout, and may he bring the Messiah closer in, in, in your lifetime, and in your days, and within the lifetime of the entire house of Israel speedily and soon and say amen may his great name be blessed forever and ever blessed and praised glorified exalted extolled and honored uplifted and lauded be the name of the holy one blessed be he who is beyond all blessing and song praise and consolation spoken in the world and say amen may there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all israel and say amen May he who makes peace in his heights make peace upon us and upon all Israel and say, Amen. And the blessing of Messiah, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu, Melech HaAlam, Asher Natan Lanu Devar Hakayim Mashiach Yeshua. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who has given us the word of life, Messiah Yeshua. And say with me now, Messiah's prayer. Our Father in heaven, sanctified be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And in the ancient days, the high priest blew the shofar to gather Benaiah Israel to come and worship. We are going to sound the shofar now. I'm going to pause it now for you to go listen to two or three anointed praise and worship songs. I cannot um, include them with this upload because of copyright infringement and where I do um, post. Um, but what I do is I post three songs before I do this actual upload onto the social media platforms that I post to and three afterwards. So um, the three before uh, can be for this time frame, and then the second second segment of Shabbat, um, the other three can go to um, if you, you're not sure what to listen to, because I do select music uh, for Shabbat, um, but again, we cannot uh, include that on the upload because of copyright infringements. Um, so um, praise and worship is so vitally important to any service and we don't want you to miss out on that. So um, because, you know, we're, we're singing to the Father, we're giving him praise and glory and honor through song. And that is so powerful. Actually, um, it, is a, it, it, it is also a tool in spiritual warfare. That's how powerful it is. So um, I'm going to pause it now for you to go ahead and listen to two or three praise and worship songs, and then we'll come back and do our, do our tour of portion for this week. Well, okay, we're going to begin the Torah portion for this week, and this week, um, our 
Parashat is Parashat Balek, and that means, and he went. And we are going to be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 31, uh, verses 1 through 30, the entire chapter of chapter 31. Kazak, and Kazak means be courageous or be strong. Then Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel. He said to them, I am 120 years old today. I am no longer able to go out and come in. Adonai has said to me, you are not to cross over this Jordan. Adonai, your God, he will cross over before you. He will destroy these nations from before you, and you, were dis you will dispossess them. Joshua will cross over before you, just as Adonai has promised. Adonai will do to them just as he did to Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites, and to their land when he destroyed them. Adonai will give them over to you, and you are to do to them according to the, all the mitzvah that I commanded you. Because that, be courageous, do not be afraid or tremble before them. For Adonai, your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong, be courageous, for you are to go with this people into the land Adonai has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you are to enable them to inherit it. Adonai, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Do not fear or be discouraged. The public Torah readings. Moses wrote down this Torah and gave it to the Kohanim, the sons of Levi, who carry the Ark of the Covenant of Adonai, and to all the elders of Israel. Then Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the set time of the year of canceling debts, during the Feast of Sukkot, when all Israel comes to appear before Adonai your God in the place he chooses, you are to read this Torah before them in their hearing. Gather the people, the men and women and little ones, and the outsider within your town gates, so they may hear and so they may learn, and they will fear Adonai your God and take care to do all the words of this Torah. So their children, who have not known, will hear and learn to fear Adonai your God all the days you live on the land you are about to cross over the Jordan to possess. Then Adonai said to Moses, Behold, your time to die is near. Call jo Joshua and present yourselves at the tent of meeting, and I will commission him. Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves at the tent of meeting. Adonai appeared in the tent in a pillar of cloud, and the pillar of cloud stood over the opening of the tent. Adonai said to Moses, Behold, you're about to lie down with your fathers. Then this people will rise up and prostitute themselves with the foreign gods of the land they are entering. They will abandon me and break my covenant that I cut with them. Then my anger will flare against them on that day, and I will, will abandon them and hide my face from them. So they will be devoured, and many evils and troubles will come on them. They will say on that day, Isn't it because our God is not among us that these evils have come on us? I will surely hide my face on that day because of all the evil they have done, for they have turned to other gods. Moses introduces his song. Now write this song for yourselves and teach it to Benai Israel. Put it in their mouth so that this song may be a witness for me against Benai Israel. For when I bring them to the land flowing with milk and honey that I swore to their fathers and they eat and are satisfied and grow fat, then they will turn to other gods and serve them and they will spurn me and break my covenant. Now when many evils and troubles have come on them, this song will confront them as a witness, for it will not be forgotten from the mouth of their descendant. For I know the intention they are devising this day, even before I bring them into the land that I swore. That day Moses wrote this song and taught it to Benai Israel. Then he commissioned Joshua, son of Nun, and said, Kazak, be courageous. 
Therefore, you will bring Benai Israel into the land I swore to them, and I will be with you. Now, when Moses had finished writing the words of this Torah on a scroll, right to the end, Moses commanded the Levite carriers of the Ark of the Covenant of Adonai, saying, Take the scroll of the Torah and place it beside the Ark of the Covenant of Adonai your God. It will remain there as a witness against you, for I know your rebellion and your stiff neck. Indeed, while I am still alive with you today, you have been rebellious against Adonai. How much more than after my death? Gather to me all the elders of your tribes and your officials so that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death, you will certainly act corruptly and turn aside from the way I have commanded you. So evil will fall upon you in the latter days because you will do what is evil in the sight of Adonai, provoking him to anger by the work of your hands. Moses spoke in the hearing of the whole community of Israel the words of this song right to the end. And that leads us to that cliffhanger. Uh, actually, it's going to be next week's shot, the song of Moses. So we're going to get into that next week. That is actually the end of the Torah portion for this week. Um, and it's a very short portion. And this, uh, to recap, tells, us, tells of Moses passing the torch on to Joshua. And he tells the people that Joshua will lead them into the land of Israel, offers Joshua words of encouragement, Kazak, be courageous, or, or, or also be strong. Um, also in this portion, God tells Moses to record a song which the children of Israel will learn so they never forget that any suffering they experience is the result of their own actions. So as Moses prepares for his own death, he reminds the people that he will not be leading them into the promised land, um, but Joshua would be the one to do that. And Moses tells them that Adonai will wipe out their enemies just as he did with Sihon and Og. And he then addresses Joshua in front of the people, telling them, him to be strong and courageous, for Adonai will be with him as he leads the nation. Adonai will not forsake him or the people, and he will give them the land to inherit. So Moses recorded the Torah and gave it to the care of the priests, instructing them to read it before Benaiah Israel when they assemble once every seven years. And this is meant to keep the word of Adonai fresh for all future generations so that they might learn to fear him. And Adonai addresses Moses and Joshua, and Adonai tells Moses to call Joshua forth that he may address him. And the two stand before Adonai at the tent of meeting, and he tells Moses that upon his death, these people will stray towards idolatry and that Adonai would hide his face from them and allow evil to befall them. And the people will say that God abandoned them because of the things they had done. Um, so um, Adonai instructed Moses to write down a song which the people would learn and would serve as a witness to the fact that their behavior determines their own fate. And the Torah states that Moses records at a nice song which he teaches to the people. Then Ed and I finally turned to Joshua, reiterating Moses's charge to be strong and courageous. And he promises Joshua that he will remain with him as he leads the people into the promised land. And Moses charges the Levites. Um, the Torah then returns to Moses's instructions to the Levites regarding the Torah that he has recorded. He commands them to lay it at the Ark of the Covenant where it should serve as a witness. And he reminds them that they have been rebellious during his lifetime, and he has no reason to, to think that they won't do it after he dies. Um, so he therefore instructed the Levites to gather the elders and officers of the tribes so that he could speak to them, calling heaven and earth as witnesses. And he recites at a nice song. The words of the song itself appear um, in next week's a portion which we're going to get into. So these words are as relevant today as when they were spoken as and we will as I said get into that next next week.
And that is the end of the Torah portion. I am going to pause it here. We're going to come back with the uploaded portion of the first segment of Shabbat service, and it will be part two.